Thanks for watching. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Have a look on Instagram, renovating underscore being underscore cottage two seven. <laughs> Holly wants to join in on the video, didn't hear her crying in the background, Holly sausages. So what we're going to do today is install, we're going to be installing these windows, these casement windows. So I'll put it down. Yeah, so what we're going to be doing today is installing some casement windows. So these videos, I'm going to make up several different videos. This particular video, I'm going to be installing a casement window, so one of these standard windows. I've got all of them in the house to do. I'm then going to do another video where I install a French door and another video where I install a bay window. So we'll have a video on casement windows, a video on French doors and a video on um, bay windows. So three different videos and depending on which one you're watching, if you're watching any of the three. But this particular one, casement windows. So what we've got in a minute is, and I'll put some pictures up here now, So there's pictures of the front and back of the house. So you can see that we've just got standard wooden windows in. The house sort of 1920s, 1930s house. The windows have been in since then. They're well sort of rotted, single glazed, very inefficient, and they just look a mess. Um, so I'm gonna go with these casement types. These ones I've got from a local company, um, Chatsworth Windows in North Allerton, which is sort of local to us, but you can get them online. I'm sure you'll have companies they use. So, Basically, I measured them, sent some drawings over, and they've made them the hand drawings. So, hopefully, they fit in. If they don't, it's my measurement, so we'll, we'll worry about that when we come to it. But they should do. Um, measuring the windows, I've measured externally, sort of brick to brick, side to side, and up and down. And then I've subtracted 10 mil off that measurement, which will give you a bit of an, an expansion gap. Um, so I'll, I'll just do a bit of detailed video on me swapping one of the casement windows um, and I'll give you a bit of an overview on them all but I'm not going to do a, a video of them all because it's once I've done one, I've done them all type of thing. Um, so you might see bits of video over several days but it'll all make up to one installation so hopefully anything I come across over the, the fitting of the windows I'll be able to talk about at the end of this video and then you know what went well, what, what didn't go so well. And then hopefully we'll have a good overview of, of where we're at. Um, so I'll start by taking the wooden window out and I'll, I'll talk about how I do that. Um, we'll then put the casement window in and we'll go from there. So thanks for watching. Right, so this is um, the second day since the introduction. Uh, at this stage I've installed, uh, I installed three windows yesterday and two this morning, so that's five. Um, I've got one left to do upstairs, which is this one here, and then a big one in the kitchen to do on the casement windows. So what I thought I'd do is get you a little bit of video of me doing this one, um, and a bit of video doing the kitchen one. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to start by taking the um, this off, so I'm going to let these hinges loose, take this section off, and leave the glass in it. And then I'm going to take this section out, so I'll show you how I do that, but basically if you tap the wood around the side, the, 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 wood, the glass and the frame should come out intact. That leaves you the frame opening. And um, then, using a reciprocating saw to cut sort of the, what's left of the frame in several places and then get it out with a pry bar. And that makes minimal, minimal disturbance to the brickwork around the window. Um, and then from there, it's fitting the frame. So I'll, uh, I'll get some tools in and I'll, I'll, sh I'll show you how I'll go. To begin with, taking a pry bar and I'm just pulling it out hopefully. And that came out really easy. You could, I could have took the screws out obviously, but they've just covered in years and years worth of paint. So. They all go on the tip of these, so for what it is, I'm just doing it that way. Next, take the top window out. I have got goggles on for safety glasses, just in case. So 
see this one's broke on the others if you gently tap round they do tap out so this one's broke so what i'll do is i'll put some gloves on i'll take the glass out and then i'll tap the rest of it out after that what we're just doing here is using a reciprocate and sort to take the frame out so i'm just taking the glass out nice and safely with the gloves got the goggles on and then the reciprocate and sort of take the frame out this window is actually at the side of the house and there's sort of a bit of um, a kitchen roof sort of underneath it so you can't really get to it from outside so it's sort of um, all having to be done from inside um, and it's just like an alley that runs along the side of the house as well so I'm just trying to be careful not to drop bits of rubbish down there um, so it's a bit of an awkward one but luckily it's only a, quite a small frame to do this one so you can see I'm just taking my time and I'm using the reciprocating saw to keep sort of vibration to the brickwork to a minimum. Um. So it's a little bit cramped up here in the hall, so <laughs> getting the video as best as I can. So what we want to do is put the sill on the bottom of the window. Obviously, to point outwards, so the handles are on the inside, uh, and on equal space on either side. You should probably find it overlaps the window by a couple of millimetres at either side. I've then got some stainless steel screws. These are 50 mils. Uh, no, sorry, the 45 mils. I'm going to go through the outside edge and into the sill. In the bottom of the frame. So I'm making sure one final check that it's even. Making sure the sill's butted up to the back of the frame. And I'm not tightening it down or anything, just so it's locked in. Same for this side. Similar sort of place. And next we'll get the window in. Right, so I'm just going to be very careful. Uh, put it out and put it in. It's, it's not really, even if you have somebody else there at help, to be fair, it's a bit of a one person thing anyway. There we are, it's in. Um, what I'm going to do is go and get some packers and I'll pack it out. Um, so I'm looking at an even spacing in the brick at either side. I'll probably put packers around here and here, packers around here and here, packers around here and here, and that's where I'll be securing this window. So there'll be wind fixing going in there, there, and there. Um, obviously, put the fixings in with the opener, drill them through, drill them through, through, through. Same on the window, throw them through. Don't drill through there, otherwise you'll get open your window. So I'll, I'll go get the fixings, the packers, get it packed in, and I'll, I'll try and get the camera out so you can see. I've got the packers in, so I've got my screws now, the self fiction ones. Um, 75 by 100 mil. Basically, what you do is take a six mil masonry bit, put it through the frame, with like a star head, like a torex head, torex bit, fix them in. When I'm fixing them in, I'm putting them sort of like I said earlier on near where the packers are, and I'm not tightening them too much, just so they're nipping up, nipping up, nipping up. Same, same, and same. And then I'll probably put one through the centre as well, just to hold it all in place. Um, I'll do that now and then I'll give you a close up look around. 
So I've just got a little bit more speeded up footage um, again. So you can see now I'm putting the fixings in. So I'm just using the masonry bit um, and then the self tap and masonry screws. Um, and again, they secure the frame nice and nice and firmly. Like I think I've mentioned it earlier on, you've got to be careful not to tighten them too much because you don't want to distort anything. Um, but you can see plenty of level enough, taking me time and um, gets the frame nicely secured. Ready for a bit of um, expand and form in any any gaps once uh, once we get to that stage and then a bit of a silicon and later on after that or frame seal I should say after that. Right, so that shouldn't go anywhere now. So what I'm going to do now, in a minute, I'm going to put some um, expanding foam around the outside. Um, I'm then going to let it harden off. Um, I'm then going to cut it off, put some frame seal around the outside, um, and then put the glass in, in a couple of hours time. So I've put this on as wide an angle as I can. So you can see up the edge of the frame there, I've got the packers there. Packers higher up. And then a similar setup on the other side. Um, up here, where the arch is, I'll be putting some trim along there, so for now it'll just get expand and formed. And I'll take this protective film off once the expand and form set. Right, so there's all the window formed up, um, inside and outside. Um, so what I'm going to do now is have a good clean round everywhere. I've got to do a bit of silicon on the front windows that I put in earlier on this morning um, and then we'll start the video up again in a bit once the foam's gone off um, and we'll go from there. So. Right, so I've trimmed the sealant off and I've popped the, the glass in. Uh, I'm going to go over putting glass in a bit later on in the video. I was going to do it on this one, but literally, I mean, it's literally four packers and a bit of beading, so it's not worth spending the time on it. Um, on the next window I'm going to show you, the hall one, there'll be a bit of tone and healing, there'll be some standard windows, so there'll be a bit of everything. So rather than going over it here, going over it again, I thought I'd show you in one go. So I'll give you a little uh, close-up of this so you can, you can have a look at it, but I'm, I'm pleased with how it's turned out. Um, a little bit of filling around the side needed, but obviously like I was saying earlier on, and, it's all going to get skimmed, so later on I'll secure the um, windowsills properly. Um, I'll, I'll back, I'll touch up with like back and plaster, and then when we get a proper plaster in, skim it. Um, it should be a, a nice good job. So I'm, I'm pleased with it. It's a good quality window. So it's an up and over type one with it being such a little opening. Um, you can sort of lock it half open, lock it closed. Same with the top. To comply with building regulations, they need to have air vents in them now. So it has got the air vents in up there, so that should keep the building inspector happy, hopefully. Um, I'd have probably, if I'd had the choice, I'd have probably got them without the air vents, to be honest. But in saying that, I'm not, I'm not too, but they, they look quite nice, I think. So yeah, I will crack them open because it's red hot at the minute anyway. So I'll leave a little, little bit of breeze. I'll have that half open, but it makes a massive difference to the sound. Um, yeah, literally all the sound disappears when I shut it properly, so it's, it's brilliant, I'm pleased with it. Um, but I'll give you a close-up look. And to silicon the outside, I literally just had to, to lean out there, so you wouldn't have seen a lot, so that's why I thought I'm just wasting my time filming it. And this just looks onto an alley, um, not the prettiest, but that's a bit of lighting being this way. 
sort of see how I've sealed up the sides there. Got the window sealed on, sealed up the other side there. So maybe it's a little bit rough and ready to, to a certain extent. But like I say, I was leaning out the window doing it, so it's the best I can do leaning out the window. So next, um, tomorrow morning, uh, we'll be doing the kitchen one. Right, so this is the kitchen window that I'm going to change today. I've already taken some of the glass out, I've just unscrewed the, the windows, uh, the ones that screw out before. The one in the middle, I've, I've tried to take the putty out but I couldn't really get it out so I've just smashed the glass out. So what I'm going to do now is cut all the frame out like I had to done the one upstairs. Um, and then we'll, we'll go from there so I'm just going to get me sharp. we cut, 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 see if I can get this out as a whole unit. And then I'll just slowly pull the frame out of either side. Um, so I'll get the frame out and we'll, we'll have a chat about what's going to happen there. So on with this kitchen one, like I say, I'm just taking the frame out. So again, I've used the reciprocating saw to keep disturbance to a minimum and I'm just gently pulling it away, just being mindful of that glass in sort of the top there. So we've got goggles on and gloves on and what have you. Um, it's nice and steady to keep disturbance to the brickwork to a minimum. I've got the full glass out now on the inside bit. We're going to have to clean up all the glass in 10 minutes or so. But first of all, I'm going to do is get the frame out. There's going to be a little bit of shards of glass when I do that, and then I'll have a good clean round um, before I do out, else in case the dogs come out. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by cutting the frame there, there, hopefully get the side bits loose, and then just exactly the same as I did on the other window, I'll cut sort of up the top and down the bottom. Basically, just try and prise it out without disturbing the brickwork too much. I'm hoping when we take the top one out, there's a lintel in there. Um, all the other windows have been arched windows, so it's not been an issue. This one isn't an arch, so I'm hoping there's a lintel there. If not, it will be a ton of lintel. Uh, but it's, it's fairly modern modification, so hopefully it should be. So we'll see how it goes anyway. So I've put a couple of acro props there and what I'm going to do now is just move some of the plasterboard on the inside just to have a look and see if, if there is actually a, a lintel there that's only like, I can only see half of it or something like that or if there's nothing there at all so we'll have a look at that see what we've got to go from there. So I've had a look, there is no lintel so literally when they've done it originally they've just bricked above the window there's a massive lintel on the other side on the inside um, which is the original lintel I think what's happened here this has been an arch originally on the outside and a lintel on the inside like the rest of the windows for whatever reason they've took up, done away with the arch and bricked it flat like that and when they bricked it flat they haven't put a lintel in anyway it's Sunday, it's Saturday morning now but a quick ring round Jewson's in, in town in Darlick where we live they have an L-shaped single leaf lintel in stock um, 2.1 meters wide which is exactly what we want so hopefully it'll fit in the car so I'm just going to put my trainers on now rush to Jewson's get it and then uh, come back and then uh, we'll now have a how to fit a lintel section of the video so I've just been to Jewson's there I've got this lintel um, it's about 90 pounds including that and um, so this is 2.1 meter lintel um, it's designed for a single leaf wall which is what we want so basically the bricks are going to sit on that bit there um, and then this bit pulls up into the cavity well, like what is a bit of a cavity like I say I can't put a full cavity wall lintel in because there's already been a lintel on the other side um, so what I'll do is I'll move it take a brick out on either side put this in and then pack this back up with some um, engineering bricks um, and that's, that'll be a lot better than it was because I've got, got the lint then just to make it off. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to finish off taking the frame out, which is what I started with. I'm just going to put this to one side. I'm going to take the frame out so we're all ready. Once I've got the frame out, I've got this well acro prop up now. I'm going to take a couple of bricks out at either edge. I'm going to just take my time doing that because I want to keep the disturbance to a minimal. Um, and then once I think it's somewhere near, we'll have a look at, at actually getting this in. So where we're at now is, as you can see, I've taken out some bricks. So I've taken out some bricks here and here, and the loose. Same at the other side. That's allowed me to slide the steel in and put it up into the cavity. 
I was going to try and get a bit of footage of that, but my GoPro's rubbish and the battery lasts about three minutes, so I didn't get any chance. But anyway, to, to get that in, literally took a few bricks out, same the other side, slid it in. Um, so what I'm going to go and do now is mix up some mortar. I'm going to put a bed of mortar along the lintel and slow it down slightly, put a bed of mortar there. The bricks are all secure anyway, but I'll put a bed of mortar there so they're all sat on it and just apro prop it up. And then I've put all the bricks to the sides, obviously just in loosely, but I'll just then get them pointed up. Uh, I'm using a, just a standard 4 to 1 mix, uh, so 4 sand to 1 cement. Um, and then once it's all bedded in, I'm then going to leave it a, leave it a couple of hours, um, or, or as long as I can basically anyway. Um, and put the window frame in, Ho hopefully get a couple of hours before I need to put the window frame in by the time I have tidy up and stuff like that. Um, so we will get them mortared in and go from there. There's just a close up look. You can see the new lint or has sort of gone up the gap in the sort of cavity but because the old wooden lint was so wide it would have been a struggle to get a proper cavity wall lintel in, so that's why they have the single leaf lintel, because there's no need for two. Um, also what I've done is, the brickwork here wasn't very level, so I've just took, I've loosened them out, obviously they're still not level, but I've loosened them out and I'm going to mortar them back in nice and level, uh, that'll give me something to do as well while it's setting up here. Right, so you can see there the top's pointed up, needs a wire brush off when it's set, but it's pointed up at either side. Um, so I'm going to give that a couple of hours to set now, so just to kill time while that's setting there's some bricks, these didn't need to come out but I took them out, they weren't level so I'm going to level these up um, and then we'll have a look at putting the frame in after that um, The lint wall, it's been a bit of a pain but uh, it's definitely well worth doing it because I mean it's supporting the full house so it needed to go in, so it's an unexpected job but uh, at least it was a Saturday and Jewson's was open and I've been able to get it in. But, uh, it's a really good job now. Like I say, it's not going to go anywhere once that uh, mortar sets. So for now, I'll get these bricks done. Right, so I've got the lintel in. Um, one side, the other. The bricks, uh, the mortar had maybe three or four hours to set. So I mean, I would have liked to leave it longer, but it's now about six o'clock at night and I want to get this window in before the night. Um, so what I'm going to do is I've got the sill there, I'm just going to see if the sill fits in. Uh, once I know if that fits in, I'm going to go and get the frame, just try the frame up loosely and just see what it's like. Um, then we'll get it packed in, screwed in, um, and then we'll get the glass fitted. Um, I'll probably expand and form it tonight, um, probably, but, uh, but I'll uh, silicone it all up. Once the patio window is done as well, just until we're done. So the sill has gone in nicely, there's that little bit of brick there, I just moved that out of the way. So I will have to put some little brick infills there at a later date, but that's, that's fine for now. So I'll go and grab my tape measure, just make sure it's the same amount at either end. Uh, and I'll bring the, bring the frame out as well while I'm on. So a bit of speeded up footage here, just putting the frame in. So it's a bit of trial and error really, once you get the sort of sill screwed on the bottom. Obviously it's a made to measure frame, so it will go in. But I've put a bed of sand and cement under the sill. Um, so I think I have to take it in and out a couple of times, um, just while I scrape a bit off that bed of, bed of sand and cement. But um, like I mentioned, this, this window, I, th I think what's been there is maybe to dawn a small window, originally an arch. Um, and then they've put this sort of um, new brickwork above, but it's, it's just a really bad job. So it's it's, um, it's sort of making the best of, of what we can with this one. Um, but it does, now it, you'll see at the end of the video, once it's all done, it, it does look really good. It's just, um, it just makes it a little bit, little bit awkward because of the low quality um, building work that's been done there in the past. Um, but eventually we get, we get it in. Um, as you can see in the video here, so just nice and slow, persistent, take time and do a good job of it.
So I've got the window frame in now, just a little look on the inside there. Uh, was it very a little bit tight on that right hand corner? Uh, the left hand's gone in alright, but that's historic. The um, the one that came out when I measured it originally, it was like that. So, um, But it's, it's gone in now, so it isn't screwed in or anything yet. I've just got it in there lightly. Um, and a couple of packers. So I'm going to put the rest of my packers in. Um, and then screw it. So on each of the sides, so down that side and down that side, I'll be sort of... Um, middle uh bottom middle top and then the very top bottom middle top very top and i'm probably going to put one in the um, um top and centers uh de definitely on the bottom anyway i'm not too sure about that top because obviously the lintel there might be a bit of a pain um and i don't really want to disturb the, the bricks too much around there um, but I'll, I'll say, I mean, it's a really solid frame anyway. I don't think it's going to go anywhere. Um, so, anyway, so um, I'll go and get some, uh, I'll get my drill and get the screws and we'll uh, have a look at getting it fixed. So, pack the window. I'm just using these packers. They come in different colours. Different colours are a different size. Uh, literally, I've got a uh, 3mm. So it goes in a little bit of clips, probably about right because we had 10 mil. Um, so you should in theory have about 5 mil at either side, but in some places the brick is a bit bigger than it is in others. So anyway, I've already got them pushed in. Um, I'm gonna get the drill and put some screws in. And now I'm just done fixing it in, or I will be in a minute. So I've got my masonry drill again, uh, self-tapping masonry screws, like like used on the um, other windows. Um, I think three in the side, so middle, you know, mid, top, bottom, and middle, um, and then in the, the center as well, put some in there. And again, it's just a matter of taking time, leveling it all the time, um, just making sure it obviously it's got to be level, but it's got to look right. So it's just a bit of sort of trial and error. And Alicia's helping us there, she's just stopping it from falling out. Um, the time we filmed this, it was really, really hot, it's the middle of summer. Um, so it was a hot day, it was quite hard work really. Um, but it's, it's starting to look good there now, getting secured in. Got all the screws in now, I'm going to put the glass in. Um, all fairly straightforward, like I said, three down, one at the top, three down, one at the top. Put two in the centre and one in the middle. The middle one, I just had a six and a half mil steel bit, put that through, so it went through the lintel. And then I just put the masonry bit through after that, it's fairly straightforward. So it's nice and secure now. Um, so let's get the glass in. I'm going to start with this uh, middle section of glass. Um, got the glass there, I'm going to put a couple of packers in to begin with. Making sure I'm not obstructing it, the water drains or anything like that. This did have a sticker on it and it says keep the stick at the outside. And then what I'm doing is just making sure that it's nicely centred up. That's just a lace bang on the door. Just making sure that it's just nicely centred up. It needs lifting up slightly at the bottom. So it's nicely centred everywhere there, so I'm going to put the trim back in. And I'm just putting it back in the exact way it came out. And to put the trim in, I've got a rubber hammer with a tea towel. And just very gently. It in. Simple as that.
two sides. Uh, so that's the first one in. I've got another two of them to do, uh, and they're all the same. These are just up and over, so they'll just nicely be packed at the bottom so they're nicely squared. Um, so I'll get these two in, get that one in, and in a minute I'll show you the torn healing on that one. So with the windows that open and close like this one, I need to pack them in a certain way so they don't distort. So it's called torn and healing. So basically, one well, packers in this corner, so bottom and side, which is the hinge side. So packer there, packer there, and then packer there, packer there. And it's like um, when you brace a gate, it's sort of putting the strength across, and it should stop it distorting or anything like that. I mean, it's a relatively little window this anyway, but packers there and there, packers there and there, get it nice and square, and it shouldn't go anywhere. So I'll come in and get the packers in. So just a little bit of speeded up footage there, so you can see I'm putting the packers in at diagonals um, to, to sort of torn heel to brace the window because this is an opening window and then I'm putting the trim on just with a sort of a nylon hammer or in a bit I put the trim on with a nylon hammer and um, obviously just to stop the glass coming out so again it's just a bit of trial and error making sure everything's square making sure the window opens nice without any sort of um, problems but again if you just take your time um, it's a fairly straightforward pro process right so i'm just gonna form up just using this sound or gap fill stuff i got from uh screw fix i think um, only thing to bear in mind with form is obviously you don't want to use a form that's going to expand too much because you don't want to distort the frame or it needs to be wet can escape. This does say suitable for frames, so I would suggest using a form that's suitable for frames and it gets absolutely everywhere. So I'd wear gloves. It goes on the plastic, I've got some on the plastic upstairs, it comes off the plastic really easy once it's dry, just let it dry and it'll flake off. It goes on the glass, it took me absolutely ages to get it off the glass, loads of glass cleaner, so don't let it get on the glass. That time enough to set, probably half an hour, an hour and then we'll break it all off and take this uh, protective film off. There's a couple of bricks going in here so I'll, I'll have to scoop that bit out but uh, it's not, not an issue. I'm just trimming up now around the kitchen window. I've got this um, half rounded tray, uh, it's 30mm uh, and all I'm doing is just going to put a bit along the top there just to tidy it up and then I might put a bit down the sides, I haven't decided yet. Uh, might just tidy it up a bit. There's quite a big gap there. Um, so, so we'll probably put a just on this particular window it's just because this has been a one that's been fitted after the rest of the windows in the house and like it's like i say it's, it's not square or anything so we'll just take the, the window itself is square but the, the opening's all over so uh, i'm going to just tidy this particular one up and then i'll put a bit of brick in there and a bit of brick in the other side as well at the end just to, to finish it off nicely um, so what all I'm doing to put the trim in is I'm measuring from side to side. I put a bead of seal along the bottom, stick it with that, and then seal around it. It's as simple as that. The trim on at the top, and just put a bead of silicon along it there, just to tidy it up a little bit. I think. So you can see on this window, I'm just using this one as an example because it's got an arch above it, and I'm going to put some trim on it. So it's exactly the same as the Landon one. It's just because I can't really get the video very good at the landing one, I thought I'd show you on this one. So what I need to do is get um, the plastic trim, which is this stuff here, cut. So it'll go around the profile of the window. The way I've done that is took a piece of trim, and I've measured from the centre of the window, from the top of the arch to the top of the plastic. I then put the trim, where it's going to go.
then put the pencil in the hole I've made so that at one end working along from the end to the centre keeping it nice and straight and that will put a line do the same the other way and that will give us a trim so what I've then ended up with when I've done it is this this will fit nicely into there bit of silicone around it and it'll look good so, I'll, I'll... so there you can see the trim's in at the top now sealed at the sides well, so I'll put this trim in here on the edge I have to put a bit of um, sealant behind them just hold them in place um, so I'm quite pleased with this window now which needs a good clean down once the silicon sets um, and like I say the arch looks well see there from a distance a bit of a shade but uh, it's a lot better than it did without it kitchen window and what I want to do is try and tidy this brickwork up. Um, so I'm just going to measure it, try and find a bit of brick, put it in there and knock a bit of sand off the window. Measured. Basically this bit should go in so I want to cut it with the um, angle grinder so we can get it in, knock a bit of sand and cement up to go around it. Yeah, I've cut up a couple of bricks, not cemented in or anything yet but a bit there, a bit there knock a bit of sand and cement up and just put them in and then while I'm on there's a little bit of pipe enough to do underneath some of the window frames and stuff so I'm going to get all that done next that's the kitchen window finished see the bricks in there it's started to set the mortar now from when I put it in um, it's all sealed up on the sides top I've just put a bit more sealant around it there the end caps are in and stuff um, like I say all in all putting the casement window in to doddle but the issue with this particular one like you seen earlier on in the video was the lint or but I mean if you if you're just swapping a, a window for window and you've got a lint uh, you don't need to put a lint then it's literally a couple of hours work um, it took a full a good full day of this but that's sort of going to juice and picking a lint or putting a lint a lint um, repairing bits of brickwork and then getting the window in so it's just how it went um, these windows were from a company called Chatsworth Windows in North Allerton. No issues with them at all, really. This the same good quality windows. I mean, time will tell, but um, to now I'm really pleased with them. So um, please um, like, please subscribe to the channel. Depending on when you're watching this, there's another couple of videos. So I've got one, I'm, one when I'm fitting a French door and one when I'm doing uh, a bare window. So any bits you haven't seen on this one or one when we're doing the bit on the landing there. Um, and if you haven't seen on that you'll see on the other videos I'll finish off with a couple of photographs so you can see the rest of the windows in the house uh, like I said please like please subscribe have a look on Instagram renovate and underscore van underscore cottage put a little mini updates in there and I'll see you in the next one so I've just ended it with a few um, action shots so you can see like the kitchen window there um, sort of during and after um, it's an inside view and then I think we've got a back and a front of the house just to finish off with. Um, so like I say, please remember to like and subscribe to the channel and hopefully we'll uh, see you on the next video.